What's up guys? So today's video, I'm going to attempt to assist feed two of my hatchlings for the first time ever. What's up YouTube? It's Baker. Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs. New to the channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment down below, follow me on Instagram, blue underscore line underscore morphs, and on Facebook, Blue Line Morphs. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. It's Saturday. Uh, I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. That might be changing, guys. Um, be honest with you, I'm working a lot, as you know. I literally just got done doing Uber. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw me. Um, it's getting a little overwhelming. I might switch to Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. Comment down below if you think that'll be good. I'm going to do a little poll on Instagram. Uh, if not, maybe I'll just keep it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturdays. Maybe I'll make a designated like live day. Um, anyway. If you've been following the channel, you know I had my issues with my first clutch. Real bad issue with the first clutch, right? They all got fried. <clears throat> the second clutch, excuse me. Uh, we had our issue that got dried out. Six of them are doing well, okay? Um, the one banana that I sold, uh, he had four or five meals on his own. No big deal. Good to go. Uh, two of my girls have had four meals on their own. No big deal. One girl has had one meal on her own. And they're all weighing from 80 grams to about 100 grams right now. So I'm really ecstatic about them. However, there are two of them that are about 40 grams. They're they're small. I've tried to feed them uh, small live hoppers, like real small, um, on several occasions, about four or five times, maybe five or six times. They've refused all these attempts over the last two to three weeks, probably around three weeks. So today, I'm going to attempt to assist feed them. I've been watching videos nonstop. I've gotten a lot of advice from people on how to do it. I'm not going to say it looks relatively easy, but I kind of understand what's happening. So I'm going to attempt to do it today. I'm going to film it for you guys. Uh, hopefully it takes. Um, it, <laughs> every video I watched, it looks a little like you're kind of just grabbing the snake. It looks real bad, so I apologize. Um, I'm going to do my best to do this as humanely, I guess you could say, as possible. I have a couple uh, fresh killed, I guess you could say fuzzies. All right, one's a little bit bigger than I would like it to be, but that's all I really have right now. So we'll see. One's really small, so... I'm going to get right into this. I'm going to set it up. I have my little station right here. I'm going to attempt to assist uh, feed these two girls. Before I get into the actual footage of me assist feeding the two uh, hatchlings, I just want to break things down for you so the video makes sense. I have about 30 minutes of footage that I could just throw into a video, but I don't want to do that. So, spoiler alert, we had one successful, one unsuccessful assist feed slash force feed today. The first female, I uh, have about 15 to 20 minutes of footage of attempting to get her to eat. Uh, she kept kicking the mouse back out. She started breathing real heavy, and she was obviously super stressed out. It's a stressful thing to go through. So I essentially shut it down with her, put her back in her tub, put her away. I'm going to try again in like two days. With that being said, I did feed the second snake, again, spoiler alert, successfully. I'm going to show you all that footage. Um, if you want to kind of fast forward through it, you know, she takes the mouse down, whatever. But... I'm going to show you a snake pit, a snake pit, what the hell does that mean? I'm going to show you a little part of the first video, just because uh, I noticed my meat hooks in the second video is kind of blocking what I'm doing, but in the first video, the first attempt to assist feed her, you can see it really, really good. So I'm going to show that and how to get the mouse in there. And stay tuned for the end, because I'm going to kind of break down what I've learned, just trying to do it on my own, and some pointers that I think will help people if you're trying to assist feed. All right, so I got her here. All right, we're in. Try to get those teeth dug in there, kind of holding it shut a little bit. Get this thing to relax. She's freaking out right now. I'm going to put her down now and see if... So this is the second snake I have to attempt to feed, uh, force feed. Let's give it a shot with her. Uh, the other one obviously wasn't successful. Um, not too sure if I'm going to upload that footage because she kind of just spit it out twice at me. Let's give this girl a shot though. Ow, gee, I tell you, their little teeth are sharp. Yeah, we got it in there.
Let's see if we get her to take it down. See, it's not in there enough, I feel like. Hopefully she takes that down. We we're unsuccessful with the other one. <laughs> Hopefully she can't get it out. Maybe. I think she's taking it down, guys. Oh, this would be amazing if she takes this thing down. Hope she doesn't kick this thing out like her sister. Uh, I think that's what she's doing though. I thought she was maybe moving down the mouse, but it looks like she's trying to get it out. Hopefully maybe she realizes, oh, I can't get this thing out and just takes it down. Maybe we have our first successful assist feed. I don't know. Oh yeah, she's taking it. Hope this is all on camera. Oh good. Don't want to count my chickens yet, but it looks like she's taking it down. If she takes it down, it'll be my first successful assist feed. I have about 10, 15 minutes of footage before. I might, I don't think I'm going to show that if she takes this down. I think she's taking it, guys. Yep. I think we have our first successful assist feed. Cool, 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 cool. Don't know how I'm going to edit this video. I do have 10 minutes of her, her sister just refusing to eat. So I don't know if I'm going to show that because essentially it's just her kicking it out three or four times. But this girl we got to eat. Hell yeah.
We'll let her finish up eating, guys, and then we're going to go back and talk real quick. Just want to make, you know, make sure she gets it in there. She's definitely taking it down. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so that wasn't that bad. So a successful first assist feed. Fantastic. Let's write this down. Don't know where my pen is. Whatever. Wow, that is a beautiful sight, is it not, guys? Beautiful sight. Finally got a meal on her. She was weighing in about 42 grams, 43 grams. I was getting a little concerned. She hasn't eaten anything, so. That is a beautiful sight. See, was that so hard? Why can't you do that on your own? I want to make life a lot easier. All right, let me talk to you guys now. So we had our first successful assist feed. I'm really happy about that. The one girl obviously was a disaster. So this first clutch, guys, well, well, my second clutch, really, um, I faced everything so far. I faced uh, incubation issues, being dried out, not absorbing the yolk. Now I had an assist feed. I'm learning. I'm learning a lot. I'm really happy I have to experience these things just so I can get some experience in doing them. So if you're going to attempt to assist feed your snakes for the first time, there's a couple of things I want to point out. Uh, get the mouse a little wet. Uh, just so it kind of goes down more easily. But also, I noticed this. Um, I get a little nervous because the snakes are so fragile. But I think you could put... Now, with the second snake, I pushed the head down a little further into the snake's throat, which ultimately, I think, led to a successful feed. So there's two or three tips I want to give here. First and foremost, if you're nervous, push the head down. You know, don't force it, but it'll slide down gently if you push. Get the head right up to about a little bit past the shoulders of the mouse. And then... Kind of just close down the mouth a little bit. You'll feel what'll happen is, you know, the bottom jaw of the snake's kind of moving, and eventually it'll grip in. Once it grips in, I kind of pulled back a little bit to kind of get those teeth to dig in. Once I got the teeth to dig in, she rested, she was breathing, she tried to kick it back out, but she couldn't. So I think on the first one, I was unsuccessful because I didn't get it deep enough into the snake's throat. On the second one, I got it deep enough, and it, was, it turned out to be successful. So if you're tempted to do it, those are the tips I have for you. I'm going to attempt to feed the other one later on, but two days from now, day from now, whatever the case may be. But hey, we got one to eat. So all my snakes have eaten, but one. We're going to keep it moving, guys. Enjoy your Saturday. I appreciate it. Be safe. Remember, watch your snakes.